Hey everybody, welcome back. And uh, last but certainly not least of the monsters is the Valkyrie. Uh, I've kind of wanted her painted for a long, long time just because of all of the non, um, like large minis, so to speak. Uh, she always sort of impressed me the most. I just kind of love her sculpt. I love her pose. I love the windswept cape. Um, I love everything about her. And so I'm, I was pretty excited to have Robert uh, paint her up. And then he sort of tempered my expectations because he was like complaining about how, you know, the casting for this was horrible, the plastic was misshapen and, um, and all of that. And he was just like, you know, sort of like, well, this is the best I could do. And um, I have to say that having her in hand, I think she's, she's perfect, she's amazing. Um, mainly just because even though, you know, it is plastic, um, the pose is so strong and the sculpt is so strong, the design is so strong, and it kind of overcomes sometimes the quality of the, the cast. Uh, remember, when you're watching my reviews of uh, Robert Carlson's work, uh, understand how amazing it is to see the quality of what he's doing um, kind of blowing away because he is literally, he's not just putting a lipstick on a pig, he's like making the pig, like the fashion model, it's like a, a pig makeover, okay? Because he's painting all of this and these are all basically injection molded plastic figurines. Um, what you're seeing in front of you is basically a plastic, you know, a plastic miniature figure that you get from like a $40 or $30 board game. And he's basically putting all these amazing textures and layering of paint to, uh, to give you this uh, piece of art. So, um, of course, I would, love, I would have loved to get the original resin but only cool mini or not, um, the company who made Blood Rage, only they have those, you know. But that's what he used uh, to paint it. And so that's what you see on uh, Google, if you were to Google his name, Robert Carlson or Rockland Studios or Blood Rage Miniatures Painted, that amazing, um, any amazing, you know, like photos you see, that's Robert's work on a resin master, not like the mass produced, you know, plastic figurine. So for him to achieve what he did is amazing. So here you can see the helmet, the hair, the texturing of the cloak. Uh, again, NMM effect on the uh, spear tip. Um, and then a uh, nice golden boss metal shield, the scabbard, um, her belt, you know, all of that stuff, the, the shading of the cloak. And I think I see what he means because if you look at her face, her face is pretty ugly. Like take a look at that face. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that's the plastic right there warping her. Uh, but even then, you know, he tried his best to, to make her beautiful. So look at the detail work, for instance, on the helmet. Uh, just uh, just dropped it gorgeous. So uh, again, I'm very, very pleased. I guess when he was painting it under like a microscope, <laughs> under his magnifiers, um, you know, that face really bothered him. But uh, even here, you know, you can only see so much so yeah this is the valkyrie definitely my favorite piece actually of all of the so-called small um small miniatures i mean they're all really good but i love this piece and you know, he did a great job with this i'm really happy with that all right so i'm gonna put her down and then we're going to see all of the um the nine uh, so-called oh, no, or the five so-called monsters by themselves together so to speak okay until next time take care